Right, so you own a Shopify store and you want to increase its revenue. And one way you can do this, because there's infinite ways you can do it, but one way you can do it is have assets associated with it. These assets can be in social media platforms, of course, YouTube, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, or having a blog. For example, this Shopify store right here has a blog associated with it. And most stores online have blogs, right? These blogs are and work in two fronts, right? The first front is they increased the perceived value of your brand because if people go to your website and see, huh, these guys go the extra mile to build out proper blogs with authors in article images, tables of contents, uh, internal links to their products, uh, more images, right, with proper captions, external links in article videos, all this. So this adds to your brand's perceived value. It's a great asset and it increases your brand value as a whole. The second front here is that these articles, if they're, of course, SEO optimized, will rank on Google for certain keywords your customers are searching for. And that's important because if your customers search for stuff online, you want to show up, right? Because if you show up, they click, they get introduced to your brand, eventually they're going to buy your products. Why? Because either maybe they're reading through the article and click a link that goes to your Shopify store. In this case, this one goes to another uh, article, but they click a link that goes to one of your products on your Shopify store and they buy it. Or you can just retarget this traffic with Google ads or Facebook ads, right? In this case, again, this in article link link out, links out to, sorry, this product on their Shopify store. And because this person was searching for whatever it is they were searching that this article ranks for, ranks for and they read the article and they clicked on it, they're likely to buy this product. So that's why you want to have a blog, right? Again, for increased perceived value. And because these articles rank on Google, thus bringing you more leads. Now, the issue here is that this takes a lot of time, right? Figuring out what to write about, doing the keyword research, adding in article images, adding in article videos, adding internal links, external links to your products, all this takes so much time. Now, with AI, you can do this with a push of a button. Not only the content generation, but the automatic publishing, right? Let me show you what I mean by this. So, if I go here to this little software, I want to go over to the what it is. I'll leave a link for this in the description. But take a look at the articles that I just generated with this, right? And I have no affiliation with this store that I just showed you, right? But take a look at the articles that I just generated, right? Seven tips for starting a garden as a newbie, right? These come with in article featured images, a table of contents, right? Properly structured articles with in article links, bold word tables in. Of course, places that make sense. In article images that make sense. Um, bullets right here. In our, uh, external links to authoritative sources. In article videos. All this done automatically with AI. Now, before, you'd have to do all this manually, right? Go out and figure out what to write about. Finding relevant videos that are relevant to the article to embed on your article. Figuring out where to add links to your products. Where to add links to authoritative sources. For example, let's say this was an article about finance you, of course, would want to link out to authoritative sites on your niche. So maybe, for example, TechCrunch or Investopedia, right? And all this takes time because you've got to read the article, you've got to figure out the best places to add external links to. Same thing goes to for cost to action for products, right? This links to, in this case, this is a link to a product, but it takes so much time to figure out where to link out to both externally or internally, where to link out to your blogs, uh, figuring out what images to add in a way that makes sense, right? Figuring out which videos to add, doing these tables, doing this, all this takes so much time, right? This takes so much time. And AI does it automatically. How? Just go to tryjournalist.com, click generate articles, give it a URL, description, choose however many articles you want to generate and click. Of course, choose the language because you can. if you're targeting international markets like the Portuguese, French, Greek, whatever, uh, any other market than, other than English, you can do this right here, right? However, 150 different languages click generate, right? You can do this with titles, give it titles, generate, give it keywords, generate, or if you want to go a bit uh, advanced mode, click the advanced mode, click create a preset and just I mean, go off, right? Here you can choose creativity, tone of voice, point of view. You can add calls to action to your products. You can add uh, a sitemap so the links, <clears throat> excuse me, are automatically linked out to external links, images, AI images, um, videos. So these, the advanced mode is the mode I chose to generate the content that you see here that I just showed you before. Now, this, of course, takes time, but we, with AI, it's, it's quite simple. Now, you can even go a step further because, of course, you can go here to the articles, click view, <coughs> excuse me. You can just click here, post your WordPress site, right? You can go here, again, post your WordPress site. Go here, post your WordPress site. Or you can just click here, publish all to integration. It's going to publish all five out of five. However, if you want to automate the whole process, just go here, 
auto blog. I won't go over how you set this up because I have a video solely on this. Click new auto blog, set it up, and what it does is that you're going to be connecting journalists with your Shopify store blog. And journalists are going to not only generate but also publish articles to your blog, right? All these articles every single day. I mean, you can do this every single day, every single week, every single month, every single every six hours. You can publish. I don't know, 300 articles a month if you like. And journalists are going to publish, sorry, generate and publish articles every single, uh, in accordance to the uh, frequency we want. And again, all these articles, I'm going to expand one of these articles right here, will be just as you saw with featured images, tables of contents, in article images, in article videos, internal links linking out to other articles of yours. So all these interlink between each other, external links linking out to authoritative sources, calls to action to your products, uh, bullet out words, tables, um, bullets. Again, fully, fully optimized, right? And this saves you so much time, right? Think of this, for example, as, as a ladder, right? Let's say this is a ladder to success. This is success right here, right? Which is essentially ranking an article first and getting people to click on it and buy your products, right? If you're doing all manually, right? Coming up with the keywords to write content about, writing the content, going out and finding out which images to use, which videos to use, where to add the links, where to do all this, you're starting from now here because you've got to do all those steps, images, links, all that, blah, blah. It takes you so much time. If you're leveraging journalists, this little AI tool, you're starting from up here. So you skip all the steps, right? Because again, we find the we read the articles and find the images for you. We find the links for you. We, we browse through your site and figure out to which products certain articles should link out to in a way that makes sense, creating calls to action that convey people to click and buy your products, external links. Images, videos, bullets, in article images, all this then automatically for you. So you skip the line essentially. And you can even skip it even further if you just set up an auto blog that publishes content on autopilot. You just focus on customer support, you just focus on fulfilling orders while we build out your blog for you. So it is a super, super powerful tool. And that's that's about it. Try it out. I'll, I'll leave a link for this in the description, also in the in the comment down below. It's crazy, right? You, you can just imagine the power that this is. Because again, if you want to drive traffic to your store. You can do all this social media stuff, which which works, or go evergreen and build out this a blog, right? That of course has these properly optimized articles with images, links, all these videos, links to your products, right? This one, this one links to another article, which is something that journalists does as well. But somewhere around here, it's going to link out to uh, their Shopify store. Eventually, it's going to link out to their products right here. So that's it. If you have a Shopify store, there's no reason why you shouldn't be using this, right? It's super powerful. It's amazing. Again, try it out. It's going to automate 99% of your uh, marketing efforts in terms of content. Again, I'll leave a link for this in the description. Try it out and let me know what you think and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.